In this video, we will familiarize ourselves with load cases and combinations. This is important so that we can apply loads to our steel hull later. The loads acting on the structural model are managed in different load cases. These load cases can be superimposed in combinations. At least one load case must be defined before loads can be defined. In RFEM 6, a new load case is created at the same time as a new structural model is started. You can find the load case in the toolbar and edit it. Alternatively, you can use the data navigator to access the load cases and combinations. We double-click on, self-weight, in the navigator. The load cases and combinations dialog box is divided into six tabs. We start with the base tab, where the general settings for the classification and combination of load cases are managed. Here you can define whether the load cases are to be combined automatically and according to which standard this should be done. On the right in the statistics area, you will find an info box with the available load cases and the combinations created in the individual tabs. The standards for combination wizard and classification checkbox is activated by default. It allows us to assign the load cases to what are called action categories. On this basis, the load cases are combined according to certain standard specifications. The standard that we have defined in the base data is preset. If necessary, you can select a different standard in the standard group list. Further down, in the options section, you can define how the load cases should be combined. The combination wizard is particularly helpful here. It is activated by default. It supports us in classifying the load cases in compliance with the standard and superimposing them in action combinations, taking into account the design situations. In this way, load combinations can be created automatically, for example. In the Load Cases tab, you can find the list with all available load cases on the left and in the remaining areas of the dialog box you can set options and properties for the selected load case of the list. This dialog box has been updated in RFEM 6 to make the load case properties clearer. You can find the load case number and description at the top. You can enter the desired name of the load case in the field. The To Solve Check box at the top right of the window controls whether the load case is analyzed during the calculation. In this way, you can exclude load cases from the calculation that do not occur in isolation, such as wind without considering the self-weight. Below you will find the categories, which are new in RFEM 6. In the static analysis settings list, you can select the calculation theory according to which the load case is to be analyzed. We can access them by clicking the Edit button. In this dialog box, you can edit existing static analysis settings or create new ones. By default, load cases are calculated according to the geometrically linear analysis. In the dialog box on the right, we can activate or deactivate the self-weight of the structure. Use the Factor in Direction fields to define the effective direction of the self-weight. The default setting is factor 1 in direction z, or minus 1 if the global z-axis is pointing upwards. RFEM determines the self-weight from the material and object properties. The action category is located in the middle of the window. The standards mention different action categories that control the superposition of load cases, as well as the partial safety factors and combination coefficients. You have to assign a category to each load case. You can do this using the list. The categories are linked to the standard that we have defined in the Base tab. In the lower part of the dialog box, you will find additional options that you can activate. However, we will skip them in this tutorial series. 
When we are finished with the self weight load case, we click the new load case button to create the second load case. In the load case name field, we enter snow and select the corresponding category. For this, we select snow at a height of less than 1000 meters. We repeat this process two more times. Once for wind in the X direction and once for wind in the Y direction. We also make sure that the self-weight is deactivated in all inapplicable load cases and that the actions are correct for the different load cases. When we have finished creating the load cases, we can continue with the design situations and the combination wizards in the next video. Till next time.